The other hazard in beekeeping is bee stings. Now a bee has a sting chamber at the, at, the, at the base of its body. Now when a bee stings you, it releases a sting which is like a muscle with, a, with an arrow and on that arrow is barbs. So when that bee stings, that sting penetrates your skin, these barbs hook in and won't allow the sting to come out. This bag here is poison and it's also a muscle and that contracts and pumps the venom down through here into your body. So removal of a sting as soon as it happens is very important and the method of removal is important. If you grab the sting to remove it you can force more of the poison in. If you can scratch the thing off your skin then you can attack it at this point and scrape it from your skin that will bend the thing over and reduce the amount of poison that goes into your body. Now all beekeepers get very good at removing stings. Uh, as soon as we feel a sting we remove it so therefore beekeepers don't get a very high level of poison in, in their bodies. A new beekeeper who is not too sure and can panic can leave the sting too long or not incorrectly remove it which means they get a higher dose of poison. Most people the poison is painful, may cause red rash and swelling but very little else. But in some cases beekeepers or people are highly allergic and bee venom can kill some people in a very short time, in half an hour or so uh, for a person who's highly allergic. Having said that, the risks involved are that in my lifetime I know of probably five people who are allergic to bee stings. Uh, out of hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Probably more people die of eating bad sausages than they ever do of, of uh, getting bee stings. But you must be aware that if a person shows symptoms of a rash, heavy breathing, you should get medical help straight away. Bee sting poison is similar to a snake poison and 200 bee stings will kill a man. So it's important particularly again when you're a young new beekeeper that you have the proper protective clothing, the proper smoker, proper gear to control the bees so that you don't put yourself at risk of getting a large number of stings particularly when you're a, an amateur beekeeper. If you have a person with an allergic reaction, that is red blotchy skin, itchiness, problem with breathing, take them immediately to a hospital or a doctor. The doctor will need to administer adrenaline to keep the heart going and most people can recover. Uh, it's if you do not uh, seek medical help then it can be more dangerous. So. I think we tell you this not to scare you but to, to make you realise or understand that there is that potential risk there. You should know about it, you should understand it and know how to deal with it if it happens. But it's a very, very unlikely event in most cases. The bee stings, once a bee stings, this sting chamber is, is drawn from the back of the bee and the bee dies. So a bee can only sting you once. So the rule, the rule basically with the bee stings is to, is to uh, prevent them if possible. Uh, wear your protective clothing uh, and learn to manage the bees so you minimise the amount of stings. Bees sting defensively. They don't, you can pick them up, they can walk around on you, they won't sting you. Uh, 
bees have a defensive mechanism, they sting to defend themselves, otherwise they're not aggressive. And if you approach the hive, sure, they'll defend their hive. Uh, and that's why we use smoke to subdue them and to take away their, their communication. But baby bees particularly uh, are very non-aggressive. They, they, they're not, nothing to be feared if you understand them. But it's, it's understanding bees is more important to, to managing them than anything else. You can uh, shake bees on your hand like that. Not one of those will sting me. I've got no fear of being stung because they're young baby bees and they're not, they're not about to sting me. They're confused, they're lost. All they want to do is get back in their hive. So you can see how they're, they're wandering around quite happily. So bees are not to be feared so much as understood.